Okay. Oh, this so is... this one is pretty exciting too, because now all of your data that is in Aurora can become columnar in Redshift. Um, I still have to figure out the mechanics of this um, into, as to how you specify flattening of all those relational tables. But from what I'm, uh, what I understand from my cursory uh, study yesterday, um, you've got all of your relational, you know, data in, sitting in uh, Aurora with all of it, you know, um, foreign key dependencies, all of those described, and you should be able to take, you should be able to specify a set of tables that you want to show up in Redshift. And that plumbing, that automatic plumbing, takes care of all of that for you. This is interesting. So with near real-time access to transactional data. So I was thinking about the same thing. What's the mechanism? Is it a copy underneath? Or is this essentially a, a, a view, to use uh, SQL terminology? But it's really, this is a copy and a move. Because there's, it's not a one-to-one -one bijection, but it's near real-time. Yeah, and I think uh, they leverage a lot of the underlying storage layer. So Aurora separates out the compute and storage, right? And it's all kind of an S3-based storage. Uh, they use the same technology under the hood. So replicating a lot of this data in a, like, like you know, like literally they can take blocks and kind of replicate it uh, as quickly as possible. And they're probably using the same mechanism. So whatever they use in Aurora to basically replicate across the different S3 or the storage blocks, they're probably doing, just adding a few more to replicate into Redshift as well. So you should get near real time you know, consistency of all of those copies. And, you know, it's available in Redshift for you. So I think that's going to be a big boost to the analytics pipelines. Like if you can provide real-time analytics and dashboards for a lot of use cases, that is really, really critical. This is going to save people a lot of time. This Correct. is a, and look at the, uh, okay, so this is brand new. It is in preview mode. Yep. MySQL 3. Uh, oh, sorry, Aurora MySQL 3 with SQL 8 compatibility only in US East. So US East 1. Yep. So exciting. If that's where your data is, get started using that. Sign up for the preview. And then otherwise, I'm sure it'll be rolled out fairly quickly. Correct. All right. Let's stick on the data topic. Uh, with one more. We've got 